Hello, uh, thank you Indaba for having me here. Uh, my name is Spotniko, that's Spotnik, the satellite with a big O at the end. <laughs> uh, I'm a designer, artist and pop musician currently based in Tokyo. But I studied mathematics and computer science in university and later I graduated from design interactions at RCA in 2010, studying under Fiona Raby and Anthony Dunn. And today I'm going to show you two graduation projects I did at RCA, which I showed at the New York MoMA uh, Talk to Me exhibition and the Transformation exhibition at the Museum of Contemporary Art, Tokyo. So, um, in Japan, I'm kind of a pop personality. <laughs> and uh, I'm on the TV commercial for Uniqlo. I do fashion modeling for Louis Vuitton or Prada. I'm a TV presenter. But the real thing, the main thing I do is design. So if I explain what I do in one sentence, I do design for debate. And what is that? That's designing objects that trigger debate and discussion. But what I do, I try to spread that debate using my own pop music and YouTube videos so people outside of the normal design community will know about it and discuss about it. So it's probably a lot easier to show you what I do rather than explain it. So I'm going to show you one of my YouTube videos, Crowbot Jenny. So that was a music video about this fictional character called Crowbot Jenny, who builds her own robot that can actually communicate with crows in the environment. So I was really interested in interaction between animals and humans, and I knew that crows had a very high intelligence and a very complicated language system. So I visited Cambridge University right here, and talked with crow intelligence specialists who were very, very keen on crows and they were very nice people. And they gave me a bunch of crow calls that said things like, hello, or I'm in danger, please help me, or I love you in uh, crow speak. So I got those crow calls and put them on my crowbot. And I went around London testing this crowbot. And to my surprise, the crows actually did respond to my crowbot. So I'm going to show you a video. So that's my crowbot. So ah, 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 three times is hello in British, British crow speak. So that's me saying hello. That's me, yeah. And that's a real crow right there. 
<laughs> That's me testing. Anyhow, oh, thank you. <laughs> but I was really, really excited to manage to communicate with crows, but I have to talk about my next project right now. It's the menstruation machine, which is a machine that lets men or people who don't have menstruation experience the real menstruation. <laughs> wow. So. Right here, I have electrodes on the abdomen that stimulate pain. And at the back, there's a tank that stores 100 milliliters of blood, which bleeds in the next five days. And um, again, I visited Imperial College London to talk with scientists who told me everything they knew about the pain, the amount of blood flow, the hormonal changes, which really helped me build this actual menstruation machine. And again, I made a pop music video, I'm a musician, about a boy who really wants to, um, he's a transvestite boy and who wants to dress up as a female, but he's unsatisfied by just dressing up through fashion and he tries to dress up menstruation and experience PMS and join in with the real girls talk. So I'll show you part of this video. Okay, if you want to know what's going to happen to this boy after this, please visit my website, spaniko.com. There's lots more about uh, my projects and YouTube videos, so thank you very much for listening. Thank you.